So in the last video, we exported our wall to a Photoshop file so that we could use that in Photoshop. Uh, before I do that, uh, I want to add a little bit more detail to this and then we're going to export it one more time and then we'll start the paint elevation. So since we've put this wall on a sheet layer and this right here is a viewport, noted over here in our object info. Uh, if I want to add two-dimensional detail to this, I have to double click on this viewport and I'm going to choose this edit annotations layer here. From now, I can, I'm going to move that label out of the way just a little bit. I'm going to make this a brick wall. So I'm just going to use some basic tools, the rectangle tool to start with and I'm going to start in this lower corner and a brick would be maybe nine inches by let's call it three inches see how that looks that looks like a pretty good size brick and then I'm going to work on duplicating that in order to create a wall full of brick so I'm going to duplicate single brick and then move it use command M or the move tool it was a nine inch brick and I want it to be I want to have half inch grout lines so in the X direction I'm going to move it 9.5 and in the Y direction Z for right now so I'm just going to create a line of bricks across the bottom and I'm going to duplicate control D control M and I'm just going to do that over and over again until I get all the way across. Notice I'm just going right across the top of the door. That's just so that I can make sure my pattern is going to line up properly all the way across. All right, so from here I can see this is pretty offset from the, from the wall itself. So I'm gonna center this up just so I have a more even pattern on here. So selecting all of those, and then I'm going to use my move by points and this is my center brick so I'm going to use this and move that find the midpoint of that wall which I believe is right there and so now my bricks are centered on my wall and they're going to make it's going to make a little bit more sense for the overall pattern all right so from here I need to start making my pattern up the wall. So I can duplicate these. Again, Control D would do that. Move tool is under modify or Control M. And now I only want to move it half of this distance because I want to offset the brick and do a standard brick pattern. So that would be, what is that? Four and a half, four and three quarters. And now I need to move it up by four, three and a half, because my bricks was three inches. Okay, so I've got that now. And next I can select both rows, duplicate, move, and this time I'm not going to offset the X but I'm going to offset the Y by double here and that should be seven inches so that's created that pattern so at this point I should be able to take these two rows of bricks control D to duplicate control M and hit OK and if I do that over and over again Now at this point, clearly my bricks are overlapping my wall, so I'm going to need to trim those away. And one of the quickest way to do that is to use the clip surface tool. Um, and when we have two surfaces selected, I should be able to clip those away. So I'm gonna use the rectangle tool. I'm gonna go up to the top of this cornice bit. I'm going to line that up with the base of the cornice but outside the layer of brick. 
and draw that shape. Then I want to select this row of brick and under model, I'm sorry, under modify, clip surface, and when I delete that um, extra rectangle I made, that takes away those extra bricks. So if I do that all the way around the outside here, and I want to take it to this inside line because that's actually the edge of the wall. So if I select that, and I'm going to use my selection tool, hold down the shift key, I should be able to select that row of brick and nothing else fairly easily. And if I right click, you can also find the clip surface under the right click button. Delete that rectangle. And we'll make one more over here. So the pattern of brick that you make is not important necessarily in this particular lesson. Uh, you can really make it whatever pattern you want. I just want you to show you, show you how it's relatively easy to create a uh, row of bricks. And it looks like I need to also select this second row. So I'm actually going to go back to the point where I was, I still have that row. I shouldn't have deleted my rectangle. So I draw that rectangle, hold the shift key down, and I'm going to select those two rows of bricks this time since they're both overlapping. And when I right click, choose clip surface, delete that extra rectangle, I now have that. Now all that's left is you cut out around the door and if you hold the B key down on your keyboard, notice how it makes that, it's kind of like the um, being able to see the x-ray version of the drawing. So hold down the B and you can see all of those. And then if we select all of these bricks that are intersecting with that rectangle we made for the door, right click, clip surface, delete just that rectangle. Oh, we didn't quite get them all out, did we? All right, let me undo. Let me undo one more time. So I have all of those extra bricks. And I just need to expand my selection here just a little bit. I think I need to select those ones at the top. So I don't think they actually intersect with it surface and now there we go so now I have a nice brick pattern on my wall again you can do two-dimensional detail on in any viewport you cannot do three-dimensional detail inside a viewport so if I wanted to make that an actual three-dimensional uh, surface I would have to do that on a design layer and then Put that into my viewport here but for this level of detail and what I need for my paint elevation the two-dimensional drawing is all I really need so then I will export and from here I'm going to go through the process of exporting my file export the image file again I want to draw the marquee and Make sure that it lines up with the top and bottom of that wall. And I'm going to make sure the height of that then is six inches because that is the height of my um, scale drawing. If I were to print it out, it's a 12 foot wall and one half inch scale. Uh, and then the width again is going to automatically be chosen based on the height because it constrains the proportions for that. We have our Photoshop file. I'm going to save it and let's use one of these up with brick. 
And there we go. And just don't forget to save your Vectorworks file. And then if we go ahead and open up our file we just made in here again I want to have a bit more room to work with image with this image so I'm going to go ahead and change the height to 12 Scroll out so we can see the whole thing and then make the canvas size ever so much larger Go ahead and make it 9 by 12.5. And then fill it with our paint bucket tool so we have a nice white background all the way around. And then we're done.